Few people showed up at Apple stores in China when the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus arrived. Straf Judy images it's a meaningful day for iPhone fans around the world. Apple's iPhone 8 and 8 Plus have arrived, and despite shorter lines and smaller crowds than previous launches, some diehard fans have queued, as long as 10 days, to be among the first to lay their hands on the new phones. A user posts photos taken outside the Apple store in Hangzhou, China, including one that shows security guards removing crowd control barricades. Screen grab by Zoe Chang commit it's vastly different in China, though, where internet users and local publications have observed queues so short that staff at Apple stores had to remove crowd control barriers. The same has been observed in Hong Kong, reports the South China Morning Post. That's not to say the Chinese aren't excited about Apple's new gadgets at all. On Twitter-esque platform Weibo, some Chinese internet users say they'd rather wait for the iPhone X, Apple's anniversary edition, which is set to arrive in November. Others suggest we're not seeing the usual crowds because it's so much easier to place an order online now via Apple's website or its official shops on online platforms such as Alibaba's Tmall, which delivers the phone to your doorstep. Chinese iPhone buyers can place an order for the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus on online shopping platforms and have the device delivered to their doorsteps. Screenshot by Zoe Chongknip Nevertheless, the lack of enthusiasm is worrying scalpers in China and Hong Kong, who try to cash in on the new phone releases by taking pre-orders or selling stocks immediately after receiving new devices for profit. In Hong Kong in particular, Scalpers may end up with a loss given Apple has tightened return policies there, forbidding exchange and refunds, unless the product is defective. One person in Hong Kong who sold two iPhone 8 Plus phones to a Russian trader said he earned only half of what he used to make, according to SCMP. In China, profits are now less than 100 yuan about $15. Neil Shah, a counterpoint research analyst, blames the cold response on declining differentiation points from previous iPhones and an increasing price tag. The iPhone 8 and 8 Plus are no longer a design to show off or a symbol of status as they all look the same. So iPhone X here could be a differentiator, but $1,300 for a 64GB version is way outside the reach of most consumers, Shah said in an email to CNET.h. He adds that the Chinese are also turning to local rivals like Huawei, Oppo, Vivo, and Xiaomi because they give users a better experience when using local popular apps like WeChat similar to WhatsApp. These brands emerged as China's top four favorites in the second quarter, leaving Apple at number five. They have also convinced more phone buyers to drift away from expensive iPhones by offering high-end features like better cameras, displays and battery life in flagship devices that are priced 35% to 45% cheaper. Apple didn't immediately respond to a request for comment iPhone 8, 8 Plus go on sale around the world first published September 22 at 634 AMPT.Update, 1013 AMPT adds comment from CounterPoint Research. I hate CNET looks at how intolerance is taking over the Internet. It's complicated this is dating in the age of apps. Having fun yet.